I scoured the web studying every possible cold email script that I could possibly find. And I'm gonna show you which ones actually work and which ones can actually bring you real results. I also put all the best ones I could possibly find in a Google sheet in the description below that you can check out. Now, if you look up cold email scripts anywhere on the internet, you're gonna find a bunch of trash email scripts that are written by corporate executives that have no clue what they're doing. Like I read through all of HubSpot's emails and Hunter.io emails. There's a ton of email scripts that are worthless, they're not worth looking at, but I'm gonna show you the ones that actually work. Marketing offer email script. This script supposedly has a 34% reply rate. Now, this these scripts are from Lemless. Some of these scripts are from Lemless, some of these scripts are from other places. Lemless, what they did is they just took a whole bunch of people that had really good email campaigns and they stole their email campaigns and put it on their website. So this is stuff that actually worked. First name, have you ever considered running any of company names offers via email? The reason I'm contacting you directly is that we've done tons of research into companies whose offers would beyond doubt see serious results with the right email outreach strategies in place and company name is at the top of our list which means we see an insane potential for your growth and would love to share a few ideas if you're open to it let me know outbound sales training copy uh, the subject line being training this one has a 31 percent response rate hello first name i'm hoping you're doing well in these strange times i'm looking to get in touch with a decision maker from the company name sales team are you the right person to talk to? I'm contacting you because I manage the B2B commercial training at the Brickyard. We help SMEs through our automated prospecting to sustainably increase their pipeline with healthy LinkedIn automation and by email. I would like to learn more about your acquisition and prospecting methods. Would you like someone to call you to chat? I think this one's pretty good. What I would say, I probably wouldn't say, hey, would you want someone else to call you? I would say, hey, can I call you at this time to chat? Also adding some numbers somewhere in here. I think just adding numbers makes things a little more crystal clear. So sometimes I'll say, hey, I'll help you get 120 appointments this month. Now for some people, that's a lot. Some people, that's a little, uh, but just adding it somewhere. So maybe saying, hey, we helped 137 SMEs through our automated prospecting to sustainably increase their pipeline, you know. So adding something like that makes it a little more uh, believable, something that I can actually grasp. This next one is a partnership copy. It's got a 39% reply rate with a subject line, question about company name. Hey, first name, Carson here, and then you add an icebreaker. Uh, launched a new review tool for agencies and wanted to run it by you. Think Trustpilot, Google, TripAdvisor, Facebook reviews, etc., all rolled into one dashboard. As an agency, allows you to offer uh, your clients a new billable service, and for your clients, help them get more five-star reviews on any site, plus much more. Partner with Digital Eagles and Exposed Media recently. Would love for you to check it out too. Can I send some more info? I think this one's pretty clean. I think when they added partnered with uh, Digital eagles and exposed media recently i think that's really good because it adds some sort of social proof so it looks like you really know what you're doing appointment setting script this one has a 21 percent reply rate it's actually really good uh subject line sales meetings as a service hey first name first of all i hope you're doing well in these crazy times uh, i saw you're hiring for a sales position on angie's list and i was wondering if this is something i could help you out with we help tech companies generate five quality sales appointments per week with cold emails just like this one one of our clients has gotten meetings with decision makers at companies like Hulu, Uber, and North Face. You open to a quick five to 10 minute chat about this. Thanks, Signature. I think five quality meetings, I think that's pretty low. I think for most people, they would think that's pretty low. And so maybe sometimes I just say 40 per month because it sounds a lot higher than five per week or like 10 per week. But also what's really good about this is you can say, we've helped our clients get uh, calls with Hulu, Uber, and North Face. And it, like, no one else can really say that, but literally anybody can say that. Like, that's the social proof that's there, but you can, that's, that's what's crazy about this stuff. Anyone can literally say whatever they want and people will just believe you just because you said it, you know? Not promoting lying, but this guy has really good social proof that might not even be real, but people respond either way. Okay, so this next one's pretty good. It's for if you're sending emails to the info at company name or admin at company name or contact at company name, you know, those basic emails that aren't specific to a person in that company. So it's got a 19% reply rate. The subject line is your company name for their company name. Good morning. I'm Carson from my company name. And then you want to put in a sentence of what you do in 10 words or less. So I would say something like I help B2B companies and agencies get 120 appointments per month using automations. Uh, we have created a personalized strategy video, which contains an in-depth analysis of how to increase revenue for your company name and traffic to your social channels. Could I have the director's contacts so I can send him the video? Thank you. And this is what I love. I love seeing like making it sound so personal, but being able to automate it to literally anybody you want. So you don't have to like personalize this at all. You just copy and paste it to every single person you send it to, but it really looks like that you're actually sending it to them specifically. All right, this next one's from Patrick Dang, his email. I'm gonna kind of review his email. This is a video, I'm, you might've seen it, but there's a, he has a ton of videos, they're really popular, and I'm gonna go over his email script. So it's relevant info, pain, solution, 
call to action. So an example that he gave, hey, I just checked out your YouTube video, whatever that video was, and thought it was great. After watching this video, I thought that it would be great for a blog post uh, with the, all the high quality content you're putting out on YouTube, you should also be putting it on a blog post. I'm paraphrasing here, but you know. Uh, and if you're interested, my company helps YouTube content creators like yourself start high ranking blogs and using your YouTube content and converting them into high quality blogs. Best of all, we handle all the tech and content management, making it extremely simple and easy for you. Some of the RK studies are blank, 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 and blank. And if you're interested and want to learn more about how to get organic traffic, let me know what your calendar looks like best, John. Now, the thing with this email is it's extremely long. Uh, I don't like very long emails. And also, just because, all right, if you're looking from their perspective, if you've gotten a long email, you're probably not going to read it unless it's like very, very specific to you. I get these long messages every single day from you guys, but maybe you're just asking me questions, but most of the time I don't read any of them because they're just so long. And I'm like, I've got things to do. So I can't, I can't read your message every single day. And so I get those emails, I get those messages, and it's just hard for me to respond to all those. And so they're seeing that. And so if you split it up to make it really easy to read, really easy to digest, then they're going to actually digest it and they're actually going to read it and then probably respond to it if it's easier to digest. So if it's clunked up like this, if there's a lot to go like, to take in at once, then they're probably just going to skip past it. You know, this is actually very similar to the video that I did. I actually didn't take, I've never really seen this video until I did this research, but it's very similar to the script that I use in my uh, Andrew Tate video. And it worked really well for me. I, now I had to personalize each individual email. I only was only able to send five emails in an hour, but I got a 60% response rate. So I got three replies out of five emails sent. And the subject line was, Hey Nick, open to a partnership with a smiley face. <laughs> the first thing I did is I added a very personalized line within the first sentence of the email. So I said, Hey, I love your recent video about caregivers. I think you deserve more views, right? So he knows that I actually watched his video because uh, I have the title of his video within my email. And then I said, I just wanted to see if you're open to a simple partnership. Again, everybody loves partnerships. I've got a system to consistently get home health agencies on consulting calls. These agencies are interested in marketing and recruiting services as well as accounting services. And I just want to see if you could take on more clients. I just have all these leads and I don't have anywhere to send them to. So I thought I would reach out to the best in the biz. Let me know if you're interested and we maybe we can chat this week. Carson Fox coldleads.com forward slash client. So again, this is very personalized because I know that he targets home health agencies because I watch his YouTube videos and in his YouTube videos, he's talking about home health agencies. And I know that he wants um, clients for his marketing services and his recruiting services with home health agencies because I watch those videos. And so I was able to reach out with a, a dream partnership that he obviously wants because uh, these are things that he's trying to get and that's why he's making these youtube videos is because he's trying to get more home health agencies as clients right so this guy nick actually responded to my email with his calendar link to uh, for me to book a call with him and uh, three other people responded to me as well and so it was a really really good reply right now i'm not saying that you're going to get a 60 percent reply rate on a, a mass campaign if you try to do this and send it to hundreds of people but it, i think you it, it works really well for me so this next one's an email script from my friend friendly he's doing really well and his email script goes hey first name this is Finn. I know this is odd, but I found you through a Google search and I wanted to get in touch. I've just finished building a system that can get you one or two new signed clients this month. Do you mind if I share something quick? This next one is Joel Kaplan script, subject line, member referrals. Hi, I'm emailing you because we're getting a ton of potential members and we don't have a gym to send them to. Reply with a quick yes with your WhatsApp or phone number. If you can take on more of these members, reply with no if you want to be taken off our list. Cheers, first name. Sent from my phone. All right, here's the thing. So, uh, I did this, the reply with a quick yes, reply with a quick no. The thing is, is as soon as you add those things, it immediately looks like you're spamming them, like like you automated this thing. And so I get those emails all the time, reply with a quick yes, because now I know that this was an automated email, and so therefore I'm just going to mark you as spam. So I don't recommend doing the reply with a quick yes or no. Now, I really do actually like the first sentence of this email. Hey, I'm emailing you because we're getting a ton of potential members, and we don't have a gym to send them to, but I would just have a direct call to action after that. Not, nothing with a, hey, reply with a quick yes if you're interested, reply with a quick no, just don't do that. Try to make it look as human as possible. Like You would not send that to a friend of yours. You have to think about this. We want to act like we're sending it to a friend. No one says reply with a quick yes to their friend. You know, this next email script is from Lockback. Uh, I think he's a, he's one of my members in my group. I'll try to put his at somewhere in the description. Subject line forward need a response. That is a great subject line. Uh, hey there. I hope you're having a great day so far. I love the way you've branded company uh, as a YouTube channel, Instagram profile, etc. Uh, you guys really look set. So me and my team are have been looking at your channel. We're very confident that we can help you get results through Facebook ads. I would love the opportunity to learn more about your operations, your challenges and goals, and see if there's a fit. Would you be interested in having a call this week so we can discuss? 
Thanks for saying, there's a whole bunch of email scripts that you can check out in the Google Sheet in the description below. All these right here, there's also subject lines that you can check out right here. Now, after going through all these email scripts, I noticed some common patterns through the ones that actually work well. The first thing is that they add a variable within the subject line. A lot of them have a variable within the subject line, so it's like the first name or the company name. If you add that variable in there, you can increase the open rate up to 20%. The other thing is that they're all mostly short and simple to the point. There's not a lot of fluff. There's not a lot about you talking about yourself. No one cares about you. They only care about what you can do for them. It's also all about the direct end result that the prospect is going to get out of your offer. So it's not about, hey, we're going to set up a cold email system for you, or we're going to do cold outreach for you. It's, hey, we're going to help you get more meetings. Meetings is the end result. Cold outreach is the actual system. And also just speaking on the offer, they just had a good offer. So it's not like they're, they're offers that people actually want. The thing that I see that trips up most people is that they're just offering something that nobody wants. And so if you're offering somebody that, <laughs> something that nobody wants, no one's going to respond to it. Also, there's a lot of mechanisms. So a keyword showing how they get the end result. So you don't have to explain that how you get the end result, but you can say, hey, we use AI to generate new meetings, or we use uh, inbound strategies to generate new meetings for your business or whatever. So using some sort of mechanisms, because some people will buy just because it's the end result, but some people buy because of the mechanism that helps them get to the end result. So for example, I've bought plenty of courses about how to do old cold outreach for myself, but then I also bought how to get appointments through inbound strategies. So I, I spent you know, $30,000 on courses on how to get appointments to, for people to come to me rather than me having to go out to them, because those are two different mechanisms. So how to do it through YouTube, to do it through Facebook and all that jazz. So maybe having the mech, sometimes having the mechanism in there uh, can help them make a better decision because sometimes maybe they've tried Facebook ads and they don't want to do Facebook ads. So if you say, hey, we'll help you get more meetings to Facebook ads, they're not going to be interested. So if you said, hey, we'll get help you reach more of your audience, more of your city, more uh, more clients, get more clients without any paid ads. Oh, that's the mechanism is no paid ads. Okay, that's really good. And then they all had a call to action, usually something that's pretty direct. So are you free to chat sometime this week or are you open to chat maybe sometime next week? You know, just something very simple that just ha they gets them to respond with something. You can't just end with nothing. And so just have a call to action at the end. You guys can watch my next video on what I learned after sending 100,000 cold emails. And if you want me to help you set up a system to get 120 sales calls per month consistently, you can book a call with my team below. I'll talk to you guys soon.